Hello, my name is Trevor Hunt. Um, for my final project in tech class, I made a uh, real, real to size basketball court. Um, I used the six tools of off the offset tool, uh, the art tool, uh, painting and components tool, measure tool, rotate tool, and dimension tool. I used all these tools to make ten shapes, ten components, five textures, five colors, and to make it look good and to detail it. But the way I use tools, the first is the offset tool. First, I use the offset tool to um, to make the basketball court square and real to size. And then also I made the bleachers offset so they would go up. As you can see, they go up. And then the way I use the arc tool is to make the three-point arc, the, uh, the circle around the mid-court line, and then also I made the other three-point line. Then also I made the basketball court, and then I've also made the other hoop. <coughs> um, next, <coughs> I, I use the painting tool to paint the court, <coughs> the bleachers, the court, I mean, not the court, the, <coughs> the hoop, and then I also used it to build the scoreboard and bleachers. Next, I used the outline tool. <coughs> use the outline tool is to make the court and to also measure the court around the arc and the full size. Then the way I use the, ro the rotate tool is I accidentally made the score table backwards and so then I use the rotate tool to rotate it like that. <laughs> Next, at last, I used the measure tool and then also the dimension tool, which kind of went together. I used the, this to measure the court so it would be actual size. And then also I used the dimension tool, which is down here, to make to make sure the basketball court was actual size. And then the tin shapes I used was square, circle, triangular prism, square prism, rectangular prism, uh, cylinder, which would be the hoop, and then, and then also I used a semicircle, which is the half of the circle which I used for the art tool and then and then also I used a full circle for the middle and then the way I used the tin components or the tin components I used was the basketball hoop okay. the other basketball hoop uh, the scores table the benches for the players the bleachers the court, the door, that? That's right. and then five textures I used was the floor around the hoop, the walls, which is brick, the floor, which is wood, and then bleachers, which is green and yellow. Four I used uh, uh, wood-based, and then basketball hoop I used translucent, and then for this wall over here, I used a different color brick. Um, five colors I used was green, yellow, brown, gray for the walls, and then um, a different color of green for the hoop, or a different color type of yellow for the hoop over here, since it's a different team. And then to make it look good, I erased some of the lines for the hoop, or I made them so you can't see them, which is using the eraser tool and also pressing shift. And then the way I use, made it use detail is 
I added translucent right, this is to the backboard since uh, it's this is more like real this is life to, to real basketball court. And, and then I, I also I made it more a lot like the a lot like the Manitou Springs the, the, um, middle, uh, high school gym. And that was my project for the tech class, Google SketchUp. Thank you. Rotate.